Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. said his country would buy military helicopters from the United States after canceling a $215 million deal to buy 16 similar heavy-lift helicopters from Russia over concerns about sanctions following Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Manila will also try to get Moscow to do the same again. Marcos Jr. said in his first public comments on a sensitive issue involving Russia, President Rodrigo Dur agreed to cancel a signed deal to buy 16 Russian Mi-7 helicopters due to concerns over possible Western sanctions that could hinder the rapid transfer of income sent home by Filipino workers from the U.S. and other Western countries to the bank's ambassador. Jose Rimalde said that the United States has now provided $100 million in foreign military funds, some of which is for the Philippine military to be used as desired Ambassador Mary Kay Carlson said at a press conference aboard the visiting USS Ronald Reagan last week then Carlson added that the Philippines could use the allocation to offset its decision to cancel the 12.7 B-227-35 million deal with Russia Manila is looking to buy Hanuk heavy lift helicopters from the United States. Q the U.S. offer to sell Boeing CH-47 aircraft has been discussed since last year by former Philippine Defense Minister Delan Lorenzana and his American counterpart. The Philippines is by far the largest recipient of U.S. military aid. In the Indo-Pacific region which has received armored vehicles, small arms and other military equipment and training worth $1.14 billion from 2015 to 2022 which includes $475 million in foreign military funding to the Philippines, one of the largest in Asia's southeast. The new military funding underscores improved defense ties between the treaty allies under President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. whose predecessor Rodrigo Duarte shifted his country's foreign policy away from the United States to seek warmer ties with China. A staunch critic of the U.S. government that tilted its foreign policy towards China weeks after abandoning the idea of buying more than a dozen Russian ships the Philippines is now considering buying U.S.-made heavy-lift Hanuk helicopters. The CH-47 Chinook is a tandem rotor helicopter developed by the American helicopter company Verrill and manufactured by Boeing Verrill. The Hanuk is a heavy-lift helicopter that is among the Western heaviest-lift helicopters. Its name Hanuk comes from the Chinook tribe of Native Americans in Oregon and Washington State An improved and more powerful version of the CH-47 has been developed since leading the service of the Army's first large Dune 57 top tent. The U.S. is a staunch critic of the U.S. government which tends to direct much of its foreign policy towards China by purchasing more than a dozen Russian submarines. The Philippines is now considering purchasing and using our CH-47 heavy-lift Chanuk helicopters. The Hanuk is a tandem rotor helicopter developed by the American helicopter company Verrill and manufactured by Boeing Verrill. The Chinook is a heavy-lift helicopter that is one of the heaviest-lift helicopters in the West. The name Chinook comes from the Native American Chinook. Folks in Oregon and Washington State have been developing stronger, more powerful versions of the CH-47 ever since. Helicopters entered service The U.S. Army's first major design leap was the now commonly used CH-47D in 1982. The Chinook is a highly capable and highly versatile support helicopter that can be operated from land bases or ships to a variety of environments from the Arctic to the desert or jungle. Aircraft it can be armed and equipped with a range of self-defense equipment that allows it to operate across the battle space. The Chuk was primarily used for troop supply and casualty evacuation on the battlefield with its three-latch external loading system. Winch roller conveyor fit and large power reserve the aircraft can lift a wide variety of complex underslung or internal goods including the vehicle can carry up to 55 troops or up to about 10 tons of mixed cargo.